And there came a time known as the third millennium, a time when the people of the earth were ravaged by disease, pestilence, and poisons, a time when the horsemen of the apocalypse ran the multinational corporations, a time when America's citizens were waking up to a future of no money and no jobs, a time when a special man came forward, a man that your American taskmasters did not want you to see or hear, a man whom they took prisoner and hid away, a man whose name is Yahweh bin Yahweh. For telling people the truth, Yahweh bin Yahweh was taken prisoner by the minions of darkness. For giving people hope, Yahweh bin Yahweh was led away to Golgotha. This is the continuing story of the past and of the future, about good and about evil, about your life and what it will become, a story that tells why the so-called black man of America had to suffer for over 400 years, a story of what will happen to the so-called black man if he returns to the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments of God, you hey wav hey. Olam, shall, shall you hey wav hey. hey. The, universe the universe of you, of you hey wav hey. Wow, hey. hey. Brought, Brought to you by, by the nation, nation of you of hey wav hey. Wow, hey. Working for you and your future. Good or evil, life or death. This is your choice in this, the year 6002, the year of judgment. Shalom and welcome to the universe of Yahweh. My name is Josiah Israel and I am your host. For over seven years now, we have been discussing some of the things the Bible said would occur in the day of judgment. We warned you that the weather was going to change and that the powerful forces of nature were going to bring terrible destruction upon America and the world and that it was going to get worse and worse and worse, and it has. We alerted you that violence in the public schools was going to increase, and it has. We showed you in the scriptures that forewarned of wickedness in high places, and we are witnessing today gross misconduct and serious crimes being committed by some of our highest elected officials. What lies ahead for America and the world is nothing less than the proliferation of deadly diseases and plagues as foretold in the Bible. But there is hope. The Bible tells us that at the end, the Messiah would be revealed, and at that time, he would save the righteous from this impending destruction. That one, the Messiah, is Yahweh bin Yahweh. So we invite you to join us in the universe of Yahweh, featuring the commandments of Yahweh and the Messiah revealed. First, the commandments of Yahweh. For 6,000 years, we have been suffering at the hands of rulers who transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh and teach all people throughout the earth to transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh. In order to have peace, love, and harmony upon the earth, we must return to keeping the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of yud heh wav -Heh. All of us have been taught that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do not count today. In this series, we will show you that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do count, and that if we govern our lives according to these commandments, judgments, 
laws, and statutes of God yud heh wav then we will have peace and goodwill upon the earth forever. We invite you to study along with us. However, in order to do so, you must have the following tools. A King James Version of the Bible, several dictionaries, the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, a set of encyclopedias, Hebrew and Greek lexicons, a thesaurus, and a synonym finder. Shalom. My name is Ben Kayo Bethel Yishraya. We are discussing the commandments of Yahweh. The first two commandments ever given to man were given to Adam, which were to dress and to keep the Garden of Eden. We are discussing the second commandment, which was to keep the Garden of Eden. Last week, we took another look at the meaning of the word keep. We documented that keep means be circumspect. We learned that the word be means to exist or live. Circumspect was described as an adjective, which is a class of words that adds to the meaning of a noun to describe a quality. Quality was defined as a characteristic, something that is special in a person. Based on these facts, we asserted that Yahweh commanded Adam to understand that in order for him to exist or live in the Garden of Eden forever, he must be in an unrelenting conscious state of mind by continuing in the special character or quality of being circumspect. We documented that circumspect also means careful to consider all circumstances and possible consequences. We told you that circumspect was synonymous to cautious and prudent. After defining these two words and analyzing all these facts, we came to the conclusion that to keep the Garden of Eden, Yahweh commanded Adam to carefully consider all of the testimony of people approaching him in the Garden of Eden by being forever watchful of their statements so he could carefully weigh the probability or improbability of the outcome of their words. At the same time, Adam was commanded to know what may happen or may occur as a result of their good and evil statements. Moreover, Yahweh commanded Adam to exercise good judgment in assessing knowledge from people speaking good and evil, and that he must base all of his judgments on the laws of Yahweh. We read Genesis chapter 2 verse 17 and pointed out that the word eat is our primary focus in this scripture. We told you that eat in Hebrew is a call and is spelled from right to left, Aleph, Kaf, Lamed. Eat was defined as to absorb, to listen with real interest. We define the words absorb and listen. With respect to keep, we learn that Yahweh commanded Adam not to receive or take any knowledge of good and evil and to not listen with any real interest to anything those speaking good and evil had to say. Yahweh also commanded Adam not to follow the words of people who came speaking good and evil. We stressed in our conclusion that Yahweh warned Adam that if he took on the character of good and evil, the character of deception, he would surely die. Today, we will continue our discussion of the second direct commandment that Yahweh gave to man, Adam, which was to keep the Garden of Eden, heaven. Stated in the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, copyright 1990, in the Hebrew Chaldee Dictionary on page 118, 
reference number 8104, keep in Hebrew is shamar, and another one of its meanings is save. On the authority of Webster's Ninth New Collegiate Dictionary, copyright 1989, on page 1045, save means to deliver from sin. According to 1 John chapter 3, verse 4, sin is the transgression of the law. And it reads, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So to keep the Garden of Eden means that Yahweh commanded Adam to save or deliver the people from transgressing his law. What does deliver mean? On page 336 of Webster's Ninth New Collegiate Dictionary, deliver means to set free. Documented in the Synonym Finder by J.I. Rodale, copyright 1978, on page 1094, set is equivalent to make up one's mind. And on page 438, free is synonymous to self-governed. Considering these facts, to keep the Garden of Eden means that Yahweh commanded Adam to teach the people the laws of Yahweh and then give them the freedom to make up their own minds whether they will or will not choose to follow the laws of Yahweh. In other words, Yahweh commanded Adam to teach the people the laws of Yahweh and then let them decide for themselves whether they wish to govern their behavior by his laws. To keep the Garden of Eden means to save the Garden of Eden. Let's look at the word save from yet another perspective. Referenced in Barlett's Roger's Thesaurus, copyright 1996, on page 1262, save is synonymous to preach and preserve. Preach implies to spread the word. Preserve means to maintain in safety from injury or harm. In accordance with the Synonym Finder by J.I. Rodale, page 697, maintain means the same as defend and shield. Therefore, Adam was commanded to spread the word about the laws of Yahweh to the people of the land so that they could be defended and shielded in safety from injury or harm as written in Psalm chapter 121, verses 7 and 8, which reads, The Lord Yahweh shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord Yahweh shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Yahweh will preserve, defend, and shield us from all evil, injury, and harm when we keep his laws. The name Yahweh is a strong tower, and the righteous can run into it at any time and find safety, according to Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10, which reads, The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it, and is safe. In order to enjoy the safety of Yahweh, we, as the seed of Adam, must likewise make up our own minds this day to follow or not to follow the laws of Yahweh. We ourselves must choose whether we wish to govern our behavior by His laws or by the laws of man. This choice is a matter of life and death and blessing and cursing. Let us open our Bibles and read about this in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, which reads, I, Yahweh, call heaven and earth 
to record this day against you that I, Yahweh, have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. We see here that the choice we make not only affects us, but it also affects our seed. Keeping the laws of Yahweh gives us and our seed life and blessing. But on the other hand, transgressing the laws of Yahweh gives both us and our seed death and cursing. The Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, has come to take away the sin of the world by teaching us to keep the laws of Yahweh, as written in John chapter 1, verse 29, which reads in part, Behold the Lamb of Yahweh, which taketh away the sin of the world. Do not be misled to believe that the laws in the Bible do not count today. You just read it for yourself. To take away the sin of the world means to take away transgressing the laws of Yahweh. In order to be saved, we must keep the laws of Yahweh as written in the Holy Bible. Just as Adam was commanded to save the people from sin, transgressing the laws of Yahweh. In like manner, Yahweh ben Yahweh has come to give us, the seed of Adam, an opportunity to make up our own minds to either keep or not keep the laws of Yahweh. Nevertheless, Joshua chapter 24 verse 15 tells us that we must choose this day whom we will serve. And it reads in part, And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord Yahweh, choose you this day whom ye will serve. This day means today. Next week, we will continue our discussion of this choice that Yahweh gave to Adam in the Garden of Eden. I bear witness to you today that the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Mahdi is here. I bear witness to you today that Shiloh is here. I bear witness to you today that the great light is here. I bear witness to you today that the Grand Master of the Celestial Lodge, Architect of the Universe, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Enlightened One is here. I bear witness to you today that the One all religions have been speaking of for over 6,000 years is here. Thank you for listening and join us next week as we continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh. What does eternal life mean? Eternal life means life without end. It means forever. Not only during the time of one's natural life, but through endless ages of eternal life and blessedness. To find out more, read The Messiah Revealed by Yahweh ben Yahweh. To order, call us at 1-800-967-7337 or Check out our new website and online bookstore, 
at www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. What is the Tetragrammaton? What are the laws and teachings of Yahweh ben Yahweh? What is the meaning of the crucifixion? What are the laws of the covenant? How can you work to balance justice? How can you hear the voice of Yahweh? Learn the answers to these questions and many more on the internet when you visit the new Yahweh ben Yahweh website. The address is www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. At the end of time of evil rule, the Anointed One, the Messiah, shall appear. In 1979, Yahweh Ben Yahweh came to Miami and became the spiritual leader and founder of the nation of Yahweh. Although he took a vow of poverty, in seven years he guided the nation to amass a $250 million empire. Under his direction, the nation of Yahweh has grown to encompass disciples, followers, and supporters in over 1,300 cities within the U.S. and 16 foreign countries. Yahweh Ben Yahweh is bringing about changes in the lives of individuals and is giving the world the keys to success in life politically, economically, educationally, socially, and spiritually. The spirit of Yahweh has rested upon Yahweh Ben Yahweh, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of Yahweh. Even more, Yahweh has made Yahweh ben Yahweh of quick understanding in the fear of Yahweh. And he is not judging after the sight of his eyes, neither reproving after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness is Yahweh ben Yahweh judging the poor and reproving with equity for the meek of the earth. And Yahweh ben Yahweh is smiting the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips is he slaying the wicked. And righteousness is the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 through 5. Again, out of Judah has Yahweh ben Yahweh come forth unto Yahweh, who is to be the ruler in Israel, and his going forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Micah chapter 5, verse 2. Our Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is born. Yahweh himself has given us a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. We want to testify to the fact that unto us, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, a child is born. Unto us, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, a son is given. And the establishment of the government of Yahweh is upon his shoulder, and his name is Yahweh ben Yahweh. 
His name is also called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Remember that this is the morning of the third day, and I shall rise again. I am the resurrection. It, all of prophecy tells you that I shall rise again. It's all about that. Luke chapter 2, verse 34. No doubt about it. Again, I love you forever. Bless you forever. I remind you once again, my associates are children of the light. <laughs> That just brings uh, laughter to my heart, to my soul, to realize that at last, I have those of you that love peace. And I only want to be in the presence of those of you that love peace. I love you forever. Shalom Aleichem. Out of Judah, the so-called black man, the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh has come and he shall be the ruler of Israel forever. For the seven spirits, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel, might, knowledge, fear, and the spirit of Yahweh have rested upon Yahweh ben Yahweh. And with his quick understanding, Yahweh ben Yahweh is judging the poor with righteousness and slaying the wicked with the breath of his lips. Thank you for joining us in the universe of Yahweh. And now we'd like to invite all of you to pray with us as we turn to the east with outstretched hands and say a prayer to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Come, let us pray. Tefillah, Ave Nu Shabbat Shemayim, Yikar Deshemeyaka, Tavo Malkuteaka, Yiaseh Zonka, Kiva Shemayim Kain Baaretz, Et Lekum Kukainu. Tain la nu hayon, uslak la nu, all karti e nu, kimosha soul king, gamanak nu, la kote om la nu, veal tefi e nu, la de nisayon, kim kal se nu, min hara, killer ka, hamum la ha, ve ha givera, ve ha tiferet, leolame, olamin sila. We thank thee, O Yahweh, O living and eternal king, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us. Sila. Praise Yahweh, and always remember that the Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh bin Yahweh love you, and your host loves you too. Shalom Aleichem. To order the companion book to the series, The Messiah Revealed, call 1-800-967-PEACE. That's 1-800-967-7337. And when you call, Ask about the special discount on the crucifixion of the Messiah. Videos of this program are available. When ordering, please refer to the program number on the screen. You can now access the divine mind of Yahweh ben Yahweh on the internet at the address on the screen. <laughs>